So, I wanted to update you guys on Jeffrey, the German Shepherd that we uploaded on my YouTube channel last week. If you don't remember Jeffrey, here's who he is. Now, a lot of you follow me on Instagram and you've seen how good Jeffrey's doing, but I'm also getting a lot of questions on how I've gotten Jeffrey to the point that he's at now and what are the things that we've done with him to get him successful because of his resource guarding issues were so bad. So today, I'm gonna give you an update and give you three things that's made Jeffrey's behavior modification with his severe resource guarding issues a success. Come on, oh boy. Gotta grab crazy one and two first. Crazy one. Come on, crazy two. Crazy two. So as you guys know, one of Jeffrey's biggest resources he was guarding was food. So Jeffrey gets four cups, two in the morning, two at night. So in this case, we're gonna use his evening meal as uh, his reward. And what we're gonna basically do is just do basic obedience and pay him not only with the food that he eats that he normally would resource guard, but as well as associating the bowl that he would normally eat out of. So I'm trying to do everything I can to transfer the value and associate everything he normally would resource guard with the application and desensitization throughout the training. So the bowl, the food, it all goes in together. And what we've done is just do basic obedience while taking the food out like this and then paying him uh, out of our hand so you definitely have to be careful when you do this. I'm not implying that everybody goes and hand feeds dogs that have resource guarding with food. However, I wanted to be transparent and show you everything that we've done with him. We felt like Jeffrey wasn't going to, after we've worked with him for the extended amount of time that we have over the last two weeks, we felt comfortable hand feeding him in his obedience after about the first week of working with him. Um, so you have to definitely take it into consideration dog by dog uh, basis here. So lots of frustration building too, just to proof it out. So what I'll do is I'll take my hand like this and I'll close it so he has to work at it just to test that behavior and make sure that we're on the right track of proofing it so it doesn't become explosive in the future. One of the other big things is just basic obedience. I can't stress enough how basic obedience is an underlying thing in all of the training that we've done with any dog that's come through the facility. Doesn't matter if it's behavior modification like this or if it's just basic training leading up to advanced off-leash training. Basic platform foundational obedience is so key in any training with any dog. Doing things like heel, sit, down, stay, and place, specifically place, and I'll show you why the place command has been huge for him and his success in a minute. But it's our job as trainers to make sure that he can do this pretty much anywhere, pretty much with anybody. So it's not just inside. You have to be able to implement this outside as well. You guys, look at all the missed packages we have from UPS and FedEx. Don't you hate when that happens? Break! Last but certainly not least would be the leave it command or disengagement command or off switch. Too many dogs don't know this command. And basically what it is is clearly telling Jeffrey that whatever he's doing at that moment or at that time, he has to then stop. So if he's actively pulling on the leash, you would tell him to heal. If he's actively jumping, you would tell him off. Now when he's act actively habitually barking or something like that, it's really difficult to mark it as like no bark or no trying to kill me or something like that. So we just use leave it very universally to tell him whatever he's doing at that moment, he cannot do any longer. So we started off with doing leave it with food. And then of course we transitioned it to so many different things. In the preliminary stages, we used it when he was barking and using the Dogtra 280C uh, to correct him like you guys saw in the first video. And so the leave it command, I'm gonna demonstrate right now. And if you guys have any questions on the leave it command, of course, in this video, I'm also going to be answering your questions an hour after this video is posted. So don't, don't forget, if you guys have any questions about dog training, I'm gonna spend an hour engaging with you guys in the comments below answering your dog training questions, not only with Jeffrey, but anything you have at home. So let me show you what the leave it command looks like. Now what we did guys is we just put a little bit of food in the dish. 
grab the leash just so you can reinforce it. And again, he knows this, so leave it. Good, good, leave it. I'll take some food, I'll pay him from here. So as you guys can see, he has the whole kit and caboodle if he wants it, but ah, uh, uh, leave it. Good, leave it. Good, so that disengagement command just teaches him, nope. So a lot of impulse control, good job. So I am gatekeeping everything that he wants. So when he goes again, or if he goes again, ah, 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 leave it. Yes, good boy, see how he looked at me? Absolutely beautiful, good job, Jeffrey. So that's what the leave it command looks like. Um, to introduce this, guys, uh, it's very simple. All you'd have to do is get something that the dog is interested in. And in this case, Jeffrey's interested in food. And you would correct him uh, with whatever corrective collar. That, we're just using a slip collar here, martingale, flat collar, prong collar, e-collar, whatever you want to correct the dog with to tell them that they can't access that. It's good for any dog, really, to just be able to control something that they may become obsessive about. Safety is the biggest thing here. Um, I feel comfortable with him because we've worked him for the last two weeks straight and I know where he's at mentally and I know where he's at training-wise. So when you're doing this, just make sure that you're safe, please. So now we can get a little fancier and take this food and really work on his impulse control. Good boy, get all those smells whipping around. Jeffrey, leave it. Yes, good, leave it. So paying him with a secondary source, but it's the same, it's the same food, it's the same reward, but it's just secondary delivery. So he's not getting it from this, he's getting it from my hand. So it's just impulse control, it's obedience, it's thresholds, but with him, it's, it's, we're able to transfer that to him when he's reacting on the kennel or reacting and growling or doing any type of those things that we don't like. We're able to say, leave it, and he knows that what he's doing is wrong and he has to stop that. And we were able to transfer that significantly in the kennel. Heel, leave it. Good, leave it. Good, leave it. Jeffrey, sit. Good. So see guys, just a lot of impulse control, controlling the thing that he was so desperately resource guarding and just diluting it down. Telling him like, hey man, all of this are little tiny things that you love. I control those things you love. I distribute those things you love. And I'm gonna tell you when you can and can't have it. So a lot of discipline, um, structure, compounding all of those things. And yeah, it just makes, it makes for an easier job for me. It, it, honestly, it just makes it fairer for him if he does become reactive. Now I can tell him, hey, leave it. And he's like, all right, sorry, I, I, I didn't mean it, right? Hey, Jeff, what do you guys think? Jeffrey doing pretty good? Let me know in the comments below. Let's give a like and a comment below for Jeffrey for doing such a good job. It's just as much as him doing a good job as it is me and the other trainers here. So good job, Jeffrey. Roll. So now what I want to do is that, geez, don't be so pushy. Freaking hits me and everything. So now what I want to do is I, I want to bring you back into the kennel and I want to show you exactly how we've, hey, shooting on. I want to show you guys exactly how we can implement all of this stuff using the obedience, using the leave it, using the place command and all of the stuff we've been talking about in this video. We're going to roll into the recital, if you will, and show you exactly how we do this. All right guys, we're obviously back into the kennel area. The food is down, he's in his place. So now I'm gonna show you collectively how all of these things that we've talked about in this video, as well of, as well as all the hard work that we've worked on uh, in accumulation over the last couple weeks with Jeffrey. And I'm gonna show you how, how it can be successful throwing it all together. Good, so we're gonna work on the leave it guys. The first thing we're gonna do, Jeffrey, leave it. Yes, good, leave it. Break, we come. All right, guys, so we're gonna throw all this together. So sit, obedience, yes, feeding from the hand as well. So those are two things we worked on separately. Jeffrey, place. Yes, good place, good. Another big one, guys, will be the leave it command, which we discussed earlier. Jeffrey, leave it. Good, leave it. So guys, look how he's looking at me. We've obviously reprogrammed and reformatted how he thinks he should be doing things. Leave it. Good, leave it, buddy. Yes, good. So guys, as you can see, all that fine tuning and all that obedience we've been doing with him to counter condition how he feels is really paying off for, for what we wanted and needed for Jeffrey to be successful. So obviously we want like full control with him at all times. So one of the proofing systems that we've done 
to make sure that we're getting full control and we're not really, we're just pushing our boundaries because that's kind of our jobs. Again, we're the professionals. We're supposed to see what this dog is really about as well as triggers and things like that. So one really um, important thing that, that we've been doing also to proof this is putting the food down, leashing him up on a flexi and recalling him actually out of the kennel as his food is down. So again, working on our obedience. So we're gonna say leave it and then we're gonna recall him and then we're, all, we're gonna pay him. So I'm gonna take some of this food, this, and I'm gonna put it in my pocket. Show you guys exactly how we've been doing this. Jeffrey, leave it. Jeffrey, come. Yes, good boy. Good job, my timing, uh, human error there. My timing wasn't perfect, but good job. So again, um, taking, good job, buddy. All right, I think he's deserved his dinner. Okay, break. So again, I just taking what he loves the most and what he was protective of, telling him to leave it, which we've preconditioned, and then recall, which we've also preconditioned. He said, okay, I got it, spits it out, comes to me. He's like, what do you want? I pay him. He's like, oh, that's great. Cherry on top, and so on and so forth. So absolutely beautiful. As you guys can see, Jeffrey is doing really, really well. A um, couple things I wanna point out in this video. Just remember that um, I am a trained professional. I've been doing this a long time. My specialty is behavior modification and working with dogs like Jeffrey. So please be safe when you're doing any of this type of work with resource guarding. That's very important to me. I hope this video brings you value, but at the same time, I want you to be safe. It's not always a good idea. It's never actually a good idea to mess with dogs' food. Um, just in general, it's a respect thing. But when you get a dog that is making really, really, really bad decisions around food and could potentially end up um, not working out for them in the, at the end of the road. Um, somebody like myself has to come in and help reevaluate and restructure what this food means as well as um, just teach the dog that they can't have whatever they want, when they want, and so on and so forth. And you can see how much it's paid off. So with that being said, I wanted to make this video to give you guys an update on Jeffrey. Um, I appreciate everybody's support on Jeffrey's video. Um, that video is going crazy right now. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and um, watching what we've been doing. We've been doing this for a pretty long time now. And again, um, just be safe when you're uh, doing any of this type of work, especially if you're doing it alone. My suggestion would be hire a professional that specializes in behavior modification uh, and I would not suggest anybody out there doing any of this on their own if they're not a trained professional. So with that being said, thank you guys so much um, for watching. Thank you for Jeffrey. Thanks everybody. Right buddy? Um, so thank you guys. If you haven't yet, don't forget, consider subscribing to my channel. Do, me, do us a favor, like this video, leave a comment below, let me know what you thought, as well as leaving your dog training questions. I'm gonna be in the comments the first hour after this video is being posted. Thanks guys. Peace.